Hey there, this is Ryan for the Checkpoint Support Team. Today, I'm going to be going through parameters and explaining a little bit about how they operate in the Checkpoint system. To see a list of all the parameters that you have, you can go to Manage, Setup, and Configuration. Down the bottom of the page, you'll see a list of all of your parameters. Now, most systems can be built with a handful of parameters. I've loaded some of my favorites here below. Uh, the quantity parameter will control uh, most quantities like t-shirts and any simple items that you may have. Uh, a rooms one is helpful for accommodations. Adults and children is great if you have two different price ranges uh, that are going to be consuming something like a tour or an inventory like uh, the number of bikes. A guest parameter is a more general version of the adults and children parameters. Another version of a guest parameter could be something like participants. And finally, the inventory control parameter helps us control some inventory and some of the more complicated configurations that you can do. Jumping into the system, I can, I've set up a couple tours already. Parameters essentially will determine how your item is booked, priced, and allocated, and also how the inventory on that item or any given item in your system is consumed. So I'm gonna to jump to an example that I've built already for this. If we go to the tours category that I've made, and I've set up a new tour called the Private Bike Tour. And on the Attributes tab is where you can see your parameters listed. And it's part of when you're building an item, you'll allocate some parameters. Your system will come with a default parameter, of the QTY or quantity parameter. And here you can see I've included some of the ones that I've just shown you earlier. The inventory control parameter in this case is going to be consuming the guide. So with this private tour, there's an individual guide that runs this tour and the in inventory control is going to consume the one which is representing the guide. These other two parameters, the adult and children parameters, is going to be controlling for the price. If we go into the inventory control settings, I can show you what this looks like. So the in inventory control parameters generally have are just controlling the inventory. They have a default value of one, and they're hidden to all. Whereas an adult, children, participant, or guest parameter there's two different settings within here, but generally you see them that they are controlling a price point because guests are often charged per price, uh, except in the case of maybe an accommodation or a campground. The range is gonna be showing that two different ranges between the adult and children prices. Uh, this, in this particular configuration, we're not controlling for the inventory. That's because the inventory is controlled for the guide instead. And lastly, this parameter is required because I'd like an adult if there's a group of children going on the tour. So it's visible to customers and staff as well. So let's save that. The child parameters set exactly up the same. Uh, now, one thing that I'll need to control for here is the number of people that our guide can take. So our guide can take 10 people currently. Uh, now, using a bit of parameter mapping and a packages tab, we can control for that. So if we set the adults amount to 10, because we limit the number of 10 people to 10, and I'm going to set the minimum to 1 and I'll just press save. So this kind of helps us set up at, at the beginning. And now I'd like to have any combination of the two parameters to control a total group of 10. So I could have five adults and five kids, or I can have six adults and four kids. On that, we'll go to the packages tab. And I'm just gonna quickly jump to a second tab here. There we go. So this is a group capacity item that I've made. It's in my resources category. If you're going to be doing different resources like capacities or if you have any physical assets like a bike, then you'd want to put those in the resource category that you can create. You can also make the resource category hidden. So this private group tour capacity, the attributes for this one is just using that inventory control parameter again, and you can see the group capacity is set to 10. And it's an hour allocation. Okay, so now if we go back, this is on the packages tab of the private bike tour again. If we go into the add-ons, I'll detach this. I press attach an item, search capacity. I've made this add-on required and hidden. And then lastly, I've mapped the adults and children to this inventory control. So that means any combination of adults and children on the private tour are gonna consume the number of seats that this particular tour can have at any given time. So I'm just going to submit. And then finally, we'll go to save, and I'll preview this item for you. So now you can see if we go into the private bike tour item, there's those two parameters that we set up. 
then I have the additional item that's attached to both of these. So if I had any combination, so if we go to six, and I add four, everything's fine because I have my group capacity of 10. And as soon as they go above, it tells me that there's only 10 available because of the hidden item that's controlling for the capacity of the tour. So I hope that was helpful. Of course, if you have any other questions, please let the support team know at support at Thanks for watching and have a great day. We'll talk to you soon.